Adios FICO scores, and what does this mean for you? Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb, and I wanted to share with you the huge news that the Federal Housing Finance Agency is now allowing Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac to use alternative scoring models. So this no longer means that it's just all about FICO. This new model that they're using is called the Vantage Score. So what does this ultimately mean for you, your friends, as well as your family members when they're ultimately looking to buy a house? Well, first, let's start with FICO scores. It was a score that was created in 1989 and is used by 90% of all lenders using uh, purchase decisions today, right? And this is compared to the, the Vantage score, which was introduced in 2006. Now, the developers of the Vantage score model, they say that it's a model that's more predictive scoring um, and ultimately it's easier to understand as well as apply. So many banks today that actually currently use the Vantage score um, as well as the FICO score in a combination. But here's been the big thing is that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac up until now haven't been able to utilize the Vantage score as well in determining whether they're going to give credit. So how big of a deal is this? Well, consider this. In 2017, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac government-backed uh, mortgages accounted for nearly 70% of the mortgage, mortgages uh, originated in the U.S., now, what is what are the difference? How does Vantage Score actually group the credit information? Well, first they look at payment history, then they look at age and type of credit, then per uh, percentage of credit limit used, total balances in debt, recent credit behavior, as well as available credit. And then you can compare this to the FICO score, which actually uses five different categories, which is first payment history, amounts owed, length of credit history, new credit, as well as a credit mix. So it's important to know that um, both those agencies, they actually have in, in those lists, it's actually ordered from most to least influential. So in both those factors, payment history actually has the largest weighting in creating both the Vantage score as well as the FICO score. So what's the huge difference here? Well, what is the difference between these two? Well, basically FICO credit scoring models use data about borrowing and credit utilization that have been reported to credit bureaus at that time, right? At the time that it's generated versus Vantage scores, they incorporate data um, that reflect patterns of behavior over time. So this often means that somebody who doesn't use credit that often, is new to credit, or has had a couple hiccups in the past, well, frankly, the Vantage score is gonna see a quicker recovery because it's using the predictive nature of the data. Again, my name is Jeff Chubb. I'm with the Chubb Realty Group. We're brokered by eXp Realty. If you have any questions about your home or the current market conditions or just basically the process of buying a house, love to chat with you. The best number to reach us at is 617-480-2600 or by email at jeff at boston2.com. Thanks for watching. Look forward to chatting with you and hope you're having a great day.